What's up, everybody? This is Julia hanging out at Systems 2 Studios in Brooklyn, New York with Pete Steele. Peter, say hello. Hi, Julia. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Very happy to be here with you. I'm very happy to be here with you. <laughs> Tell me about the studio, what we're doing here, and about what you're recording here right now. Well, this is Systems 2. Uh, virtually every recording that this band has ever made has been done at Systems 2. Actually, way before that, we began recording here when I was 16 years old. Tell me about Brooklyn and, and why you've always taken so much pride, especially in Typo Negative, as a, being a Brooklyn band. Well, Brooklyn was established in the year 1664 by Dutch settlers. I mean, what do you want to tell you about Brooklyn? What? A lot, of, a lot of great bands came out of Brooklyn. One of them, as you mentioned before, is <clears throat> Bio. Bio has a life of agony. I know Evan for a really long time. My former band, Carnivore, Evan used to uh, be my bass tech. And uh, in our spare time, we used to hang out by uh, Lamore, which is not too far from here. And I had another crazy car, even before the one I have now. And what we would do for fun is, uh, there was like a lot of abandoned vehicles uh, on this, this one strip right around the block from the club. So uh, Evan's job was to open up the doors on these cars, and I was to go as fast as possible on my car and rip the doors off. And then we just rock and sock and robots. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, it was. It was great. Young and stupid. Now I'm old and stupid. <laughs> Tell me about, like, your favorite car that you've had through the years and the car that you have now and the doors on it. It's the car that I have right now, actually. The, the big green thing is actually the previous paint job. Why did you change it? It looks so much better in green. It matches your whole thing, you know? Yeah, but that's what people would expect. That's why I changed it. Okay, no problem. I just thought it was a oh, different car. Oh, man, actually start with me. Pete, tell me about your forthcoming album, The Dream Is Dead tentatively throughout in April, I believe, right? Uh, that's kind of very optimistic. I would imagine more like May or something like that. Do you want to know what it sounds like or do you even care? Because I know you don't care about nothing, do you? No, but since you mentioned it, why, don't, the why don't you just move on and tell me about it? How about, how did you get this job? I walked around naked a lot. You walked around, no, uh, can you do that now? No, I got the job already, no reason oh, to. Oh, okay, all right, now we move the camera back. All right, now so we're in trouble. Tell me, where the f have you been the past four years? Like, what the hell was going on, and why haven't you graced us with your presence? Well, uh, I had a dream. It was like God came to me and said I should start digging to the center of the earth. So I've been busy digging. <sighs> right, right, right. All right, moving on. Why do you have at least, like, one cover song in every album? All right, don't try and f me up and find an album that you didn't have one on. No, no, Just no. go with I'm it, not... right? You know, we did this, like, Sabbath uh, tribute album, you know, a while ago and stuff, and it's very easy for bands just, just to sit down and to replicate a song, but to reinterpret it and do it our way and make it somewhat interesting. I just think it's, uh, it's kind of like a, a challenge for me to interpret someone else's music, or I should say, to mutilate it. So, Pete, tell us about the next video that you picked by... Rammstein? Yes. Why do you like them, and why did you pick it? I like them because they have the balls to sing in their own language, which is German. And uh, we played a couple of shows in Germany, and they came down to hang out. So I consider them friends. They're a great band. I'd love to tour with them. And uh, that's it. Next up, Ramstein. Enjoy. Ramstein! Do you want to know a secret? I do. <laughs> do you promise so Josh, not to tell? So Josh said that you sleep holding your penis. Is that true? Well, it's the only thing valuable I have. <laughs> Why is it that it seems that every interview you read with Tybo, there has to be something about your penis? Why do you think it's such a big deal, Peter? Why it's such a big deal? Uh-huh. Well, uh, it's going to be a long story. Tell me. It's I got be time. It's hard to tell. <laughs> For further reference, uh, turn to Playgirl magazine. The show's over. Turn the f***ing camera off. Now, Ralph, hey, don't make me get up, man. What's up, everybody? We're back. We're here at Tissue's <laughs> Two Brooklyn. Sitting down with Peter Steele. <laughs> Something like that. 89, that pretty hate machine came out. Trent Reznor said every... He just said everything I felt at the time. I know. And then uh, we were fortunate enough 
to go on tour with them for two weeks. So we walk out on stage, you know, these four <laughs> dead <laughs> head trees from <laughs> Brooklyn. What was funny was like, uh, I got hit in the head with some kind of Canadian currency. It wasn't a dollar bill. And I said, at least I have the <laughs> balls, the dignity to throw American money. Well, that was it. It was like tons of change. I dropped my bass. I was picking up a quarter. <laughs> like, eh, it's <laughs> You are so cynical. I'm going to be the old man that all the kids are going to come to my house and throw snowballs out the windows when I'm, like, two years older. <laughs> I'm going to run, I know your father! We are back with Peter Steele. What do you think is the worst hyponegative video ever? They were equally as bad. No, seriously. Seriously. So what's your favorite, then? Probably my girlfriend's girlfriend, because uh, we look like four dead trees. You always look color. like four dead trees. It's in the contract. No I'm never going to be allowed back here, right? Be serious for a minute. Christ. No, she's talking. Thank you for being here. The interview was good. Oh. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope to see you on tour this summer, all right? You have a problem with that? Will Is everything all right? Will you marry me? Sure. <laughs> Last question, Come Peter. On, man. All I want is white castles out of life. Five yeah. things that really piss you off. Mm. Come on, typo negative. You got nothing negative to say. Work with me here. You know what? I'm going on a strike, and you're fired. That's it. Interview over. <laughs>